In this video, you're going to look at how to perfectly crop your images and use them for the DV Lottery entries coming up. Hello everybody and welcome to this channel once again. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. So if you're new here, kindly hit on the subscribe button to subscribe. If you're old here, thanks so much for coming back again. Today we're going to look at how to crop any image. For instance, this one over here to fit to the particular size that is expected when you are applying for the DV lottery. If you are not aware, the DV lottery for 2019 is currently in progress so you might want to go and register but then you need a picture like this one please don't mind my face as i'm not smiling but then you're going to look at how to crop this to fit the exact size that they are looking for i'm going to show you two ways that you can do this but then i would like you to read this particular info that is showing you what you are expected to do when you are taking your pictures and the size for instance, it talks about the 600 by 600 pixels and then your picture shouldn't be more than 240 kilobytes. All these things are things that you should consider when you are taking your pictures. Your picture should be taken at a white background. So if you are having a picture that is not a whitish background, you might want to reconsider. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. Now, assuming this is your picture. The simplest way that you can crop this particular picture is using the crop tool over here. So you select the crop tool. Now, DV entries has its own size. That is, the ratio should be 600 by 600 pixels. So the best way that you can do this without any stress is to go over here, type in 600, come here and type in 600 again. Mind you, I have mine in pixels already over here. So when you are done, you go and you tick OK. Now your picture is fully cropped for you. You don't need to do any other thing to this one. You don't need to crop or resize it again. But then the size, that is the image size, is much more than the expected image because I took this with a camera and it is much bigger than the expected size. So how are you going to reduce this? Now, if you come to the resolution aspect over here, we have 250. That is currently giving the pixel dimension a 4.47 megabytes, right? So what if, if you change the resolution? So let's put this to 100 resolution and we are going to have a 732.4 K. That is a 732.4 kilobyte resolution. Let's try and see if this is going to work out for us. If you click OK right now, the size is going to decrease right and let's try to receive this by pressing ctrl shift and then s so if you go to save and then we save it as a jpeg a dv let's try to save it now this particular size over here the 143.3k that is the particular size it will give to the image and 143.3k is pretty much lower than 240k so it means that if you click ok right now and we go to our desktop this particular image over here can be used to fit the required standard of the dv lottery very perfectly so if you crop your picture in this size and you change the resolution to that particular size it is going to definitely fit the dv lottery entries very well now another way is this let's say we have our image right now you don't want to do anything to the image but then we're going to unlock the background and click ok from there we're going to create a new document press ctrl n and then it creates a new document for you i've already set the standards for you so you choose pixels from here and then you're going to choose 600 width by 600 height now if Check something from here. The resolution is the thing that increases the image size. So I've decreased my resolution to 72. And the basic image size that it is going to give me is 1.03 megabytes. Obviously, if you are to change it to a JPEG, it is going to drastically reduce. So we click OK. And then we come back to our image. And then send it straight over here. So I have my image over here. 
Now I'm going to press Ctrl T and it, it brings the transformation details and then I'm going to drag it from here by holding Shift and then Alt. Now I'm going to select or press Ctrl A to select my image and align it both horizontally and vertically. There are still a lot of space out over here so I'll press Ctrl T again and try to increase it to fit the whole of the image. Now this is what I have. This one you don't need to resize or go to the image again to resize it because we have the resolution to be already 72. So now you can go ahead and save this one as a JPEG. Remember the instructions that we looked at, it only accepts JPEGs. So you can change this over here, let's say DV2 and then when you save it, it is going to give you 154.2 kilobytes. When you click OK, that is it. So the properties and you check the size. Currently we have a 149K. That is lesser than 240K. So that is it. You can do this for as many relatives as you want. You just get a picture of them. If the background is not white, you can change it. I'll put a link in the description if you want to change backgrounds of your picture. And then you follow these steps and your picture for your DV entry is ready. I hope you find this very useful. If it was useful, kindly help me share it out because somebody might be needing it. And don't forget to leave a like and a subscribe if that would be cool with you. Thank you so much once again for watching. I'll get back to you with another one. It's Innocence here. Bye.